Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial where I will show you how you can create the indicator KPI which is another KPI apart from the card and multi-row KPI that we discussed earlier. The new or the another KPI indicator KPI within the Power BI. And before I move ahead, just a very quick information that this sheet where all my tutorial titles and uh, their respective links are present is, is you can access from the description so that you can easily search any of the tutorial as well as any future tutorial. I will going to put it here. All right. So let's go into the Power BI and start creating this indicator KPI to better understand it. So here we are within Power BI and if you see this KPI indicator, if I just pick it over here, it will going to give me this KPI. So earlier we looked at the, the card KPI, the multi-row KPI or multi-column KPI and now we are looking at this indicator KPI. So it is asking for information as to what is the indicator, uh, the trend axis and the target goals. Okay, so what is the indicator? Here, indicator means the field, for example, the sales, which is going to work as whether it is going up or down based on this measure. The trend axis is the date field. Uh, so over a period of time, what is the sale? And then target is again going to be either one of the field that you have as a target. Or here I will do one customization that I will going to pick the target over here. So right now if you see the target is meeting because sum of sales is present as an indicator and the goal 3.17 if you are able to see let me just expand it 3.17 K is again the same value that's why we are seeing this right in the green color which indicates that goal is met. So what do we need to do in this case is uh, just so that you are, you, you are able to see the change is we, we will going to take the average sales. So 452.58 is basically the average sale. However, the goal is 3.17 K. Now this 3.17 K does not make sense because it is a sum. So what we will going to take is the particular value by picking up the maximum. So here now our goal becomes 803. And however, what where we have reached is from the average perspective is only 452. So with this, we can basically define whether we are doing good or bad. And if you see on the background also, uh, you are able to see some visualization as to on a daily basis, how this uh, trend axis or how this trend is really looks like on a daily basis. And if you are interested looking at a higher level time zone, then you can come over here on this drop down and right now it's order date but you can change it to the hierarchy and what it is showing you the year information uh, so right now not looking really good so I can just remove that and again bring in the order date but this is basically what uh, the sort of settings that you can do even you can look at the various different right now we looked at the year but you can look at the quarter month by creating the custom fields now, once we have this, you can do some formatting by coming over here. So here in the indicator, display unit is auto, but uh, if you have in thousands or millions or billions, accordingly, you can change that. I suggest auto because it will going to pick up dynamically whenever the value is changing, especially in the case of filters. And decimal places is again auto, but you can change it to whatever uh, that you want. Text size that you want to increase or decrease based on uh, how much impact you want to show um, where on the horizontal alignment you want to align left center or the right and as well as vertical alignment you want to align top center or bottom so i think center makes sense you want to show this icon or not so right now it is on and icon size if you want to increase the icon size or decrease it uh, just so that your user is able to clearly see this. Now the trend axis, what is the transparency? Uh, right now 20%, you can increase or decrease the transparency as you will move. So that's a useful formatting. Um, goal, you want to show the goal or not? What should be the goal label, uh, label in this case? You may have a different label, for example, budget goal or sales goal or maybe any user-friendly goal and what should be the color? 
um, and what should whether it should be a distance or not so yeah we want to show the distance which is minus 43.66 percent and down there uh, you have the color coding where the direction is that high is good or we can say low is good so in this case it becomes opposite however uh, we want higher sales so high is good in our case and accordingly uh, we can choose the color there are many uh, certain times there are situations when you have the color blind people and in that case you may want to choose a different color which is not a color blind that's a separate topic altogether so i'm not discussing it but uh, just wanted to show you that you have the options of changing the colors also as you can see there is a conditional coloring which is present over here i have covered in my previous topics for how to do the color conditional coloring is very straightforward you just click it over here and it will show you the window that uh, you want the color sale lower is red higher is green uh, based on the field with you can choose the field from here what should be the summarization maximum sum average and all and default formatting is zero zero is coming somewhere around here and then uh, for minimum you have this value and uh, for maximum you have a custom value i will just change it to or keep it custom itself and click ok but for now i'm just cancelling it just wanted to show you uh, the option is available here uh, down there you have the option of date uh, right now the date is not enabled but if you enable the date uh, the date is uh, enabled for us which is the last date and what do we want the font color or the font family and all is something which is enabled so in my view uh, you either enable or disable that's that's more of a personal choice but i would just not show it because uh, during the kpi showing a lot of information may confuse the user so these are the different formattings which is available that you can do and make your kpi which is the indicator kpi useful so that's mainly i wanted to show you the how you can create and format it and now i'll meet you in the next topic